Okay. Uh, monochromatic uh, compositions are made with uh, uh, tints and shades. So you use white. Um, for this particular lesson, I want you to draw um, your highlight on your object before you start applying any um, other color. Monochromatic doesn't just mean one color. You can use colors in the same family. And it usually just means um, that you are looking for all the grades of value and maybe using several colors in the same family group. So for this one, I'm gonna use white and I'm going to use orange for my next, I might have to mix it with a little white, but maybe I'll do that after I make all the observations about that second gradation and I will do those in orange. I could use yellow too if I wanted to because yellow and orange and red are all in the same family, right? So um, I'm looking carefully at my second level of gradation. I'm gonna come in here and tone that down just a little by um, adding white and making a tint of that orange. Uh, next, I'm looking on my sphere, that very shiny reflective sphere. I'm looking for my next level of gradation. Um, I'm going to try to create a nice form here with this. I'm going to use a darker orange and start looking for my next level of gradation. Oil pastels are meant to be applied really thickly. So let's say, you know, I'm looking and I'm like, oh, Oh, I didn't quite get that one right. I can add another layer on top of. And they dry like paint to some degree, and you can really build up the surface. You're gonna get these crumbs. Um, you can either take and uh, shake them off in a garbage can, or you can take a blending stick if you want, or your finger, and you can blend it to make it a more smooth transition. So I'm gonna start adding my very darkest value here um, after I add my red. You can see there's something really dark reflected here and there is some really dark reflection over here. I can't see this entire sphere in the still life so I'm just going to draw the top part of it. But you can see how working on this green surface is giving me a really nice rich quality to the image. And blending is gonna make this look very, very rich. It's really dark over here. Let me see, that's not quite so dark. I think I'll go with this one. So I'm looking and I'm observing levels of value with color, within color, which is sometimes hard to do because color can be kind of um, so enticing that we lose our ability to see the value of it. That's why often art teachers will have you work with just black and white for a very long time. Um, so I would continue, continue with this um, and then at the very end, where my very darkest values are, I'd come in and add my black. So um, that would create a value scale. Often teachers will have students start with a color value scale by doing a gradation of 10 different values, blending their colors. Um, I prefer to have my students try to observe that on objects rather than creating just a sample value scale. These sketches are kind of cheap and um, they're not going on very thick. this down a little bit by adding the light orange on top of the darker orange. That's a 
beautiful red. So I'm making this a gradual, very soft transition from the darkest, I mean the lightest to the very darkest value here. And so when I'm saying that I want your your still life drawing to include 10 grades of value, this is what I'm speaking of. So everything from the highlight to the cast shadow. 